Hey there and welcome to After Work. My name is Valentine and in this video we're going to be talking about essential data science projects um, that you can include in your portfolio and these particular projects will be important in showing the recruiters or even the hiring managers that you can be able to um, do different kinds of diff um, different projects. You can be able to actually work on different kinds of um, projects pertaining to data science generally. So we'll get started first of all, um, talking a bit more general with regards to what needs to go in each and every project. Then after that, we'll um, go through now different um, category, each and every category um, of those particular data science projects that you need to take into account. And just giving you an idea of the kind of um, deliverable that you would be expected to um, achieve or have um, uh, for each and every category as well as some of the tools that you need to learn. Hopefully by the end of this particular video you will have gotten some tips that will be important when it comes to um, preparing um, yourself for application of um, basically data science role and you can go out there and create the impact that you would want to create. Right, so let's get started with just a quick overview of what needs to go in each and every different project. The first thing that you need to do, like a must to do in every project, is to have some sort of introduction. That introduction section would need to have some sort of um, definition of your research question. So you might want to break down your problem. You might um, break down a business problem into now a data problem. Um, you might want to define the metric of success. You might um, possibly want to provide um, a quick overview of the methodology that you took. Just mentioning about um, the different steps that you did. Maybe you imported data, then you explored data, then you visualized data and, and giving some sort of justification for that particular methodology for each and every um, particular um, 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 category of project that we'll talk about. Um, you'll also be required to um, document your process in terms of just if you have um, done, you know, pro of course if you have created code to do something, you also need to provide documentation for that. Um, you also need to have, say at the very end, some sort of summary of what you did. So some sort of um, conclusion to you, um, highlighting whether you achieved your metric of success or not. Um, as well as provide some recommendations in terms of next steps, like you know, what do you recommend um, as part of the next step for the various stakeholders to do when it comes to um, um, taking now your solution and, and, and implementing it? What do they need to consider? So yeah, so those are just some quick general things that you need to consider for the different categories of um, essential projects that we're going to be talking about. These projects, we have divided them into categories. All right, starting off, we'll start off with now the first category of data science projects that you need to consider. And this is basically working on data collection or data importation projects. So the idea here is that the final output or the final deliverable that you would need to have is some sort of data set that would be collected from a particular data source. And this might be um, you've collected maybe data from a um, SQL database. It could be from a MySQL database or from an Oracle project. So um, for this particular type of data, um, data science project, which is now, um, this is data collection project, you might be required to learn how to work with SQL or even um, some no SQL technology such as MongoDB, depending on the kinds of um, projects that you aspire or you you, you see yourself working um, on in the near future. So the goal here would just basically to show that um, you can be able to import data from different sources. As a data scientist, that's a critical skill. Um, um, and, and that is something that would need to be showcased at the very beginning. Now, that's the first category of projects. So data collection projects it can be some, it can be quite a number of them. Um, and make sure that you do at least three projects pertaining to data collection. The second kind of project that you need to um, showcase within your data science portfolio would be 
data preparation projects. It might entail being able to explore imported data and also perform some data cleaning tasks. And um, there's a saying that usually goes that 80% um, of your time as a data scientist, you would end up spending on data um, cleaning tasks. So um, for this particular kind of a project, it would be essential for you to showcase to also hiring managers or recruiters that you can be able to perform that kind of a task. The output with regards to this particular um, case is usually um, some clean data. It could be maybe a CSV file that you've collected from um, across 10 different sources or it could be also some data that um, um, you, you you had identified somewhere on, 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 on the internet that um, had um, that was basically disorganized and 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 you ended up performing various um, data cleaning methods maybe 10 or 20 it could be removing duplicates missing values um, doing even some imputation methods um, could be um, basically um, um, you know removing irrelevant data as per pertaining to the project that um, you're solving for so for this particular um, project you might possibly work with Python or even R. For Python um, you would need to get better at pandas, um, working with pandas, matplotlib, at seaborn and seaborn. For R it could be tidyverse packages, maybe ggplot or dplayer um, as well. So um, or even in some other cases you might even just use just basic spreadsheet software especially when it comes to business analysts kinds of roles if you want to become a business analyst. All right, so that's the second type of project. So data preparation projects. So do a bit like, you know, three of those projects and showcase that you can be able to do that. The third kind of project that you might end up undertaking would be one that requires you to perform maybe data visualization or more storytelling project. And this is usually commonly, um, it's, it's usually a common project um, pertaining to data analysts. Data analysts normally would create dashboards or create reports pertaining to a particular business problem um, and, and they would highlight different areas that are important in their analysis. Um, so the idea here is to just use data to uncover hidden patterns and be able to answer research questions through just basically data visualization tools. Um, as a data scientist, you might be required to have knowledge of Power BI or even Tableau, just pick one. Um, but if you are inclining to, if you think you're going to be applying for a role that um, requires you to have maybe Power BI, then do that. Or if it's Tableau, just work towards that. Um, tools that might, um, other tools that you might continue, um, 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 you know, adopting might even be just Python again. It could be also just R. Um, and you just use the normal R packages for Python, just use the basic um, um, packages for data analysis as pandas, matplotlib or seaborn, uh, plotly or dash um, for creation of, of data um, um, visual, um, a dashboards, interactive dashboards that is. In some other cases you might even end up using something like spreadsheet software or even other softwares pertaining to um, dashboards creation like ClickSense. And the deliverable for now data visualization or storytelling telling project would be um, possibly um, maybe some dashboard, it could be some article, some report, um, 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 it could also be um, um, basically, um, you know, just standalone visualizations um, pertaining to a particular research problem that you might get and or even just some some set of slides, a, sl a slide um, that attend, attend um, uh, maybe slide PowerPoint presentation or um, using just different um, 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 presentation software, you might just have a, a deliverable per se. All right, the fourth kind of project that you might end up also undertaking or um, in preparation for you know, application for jobs would um, one, be one that would involve data analysis. And this is just performing basic um, descriptive analysis. Um, pertaining to answering a particular research problem and um, you might you know um, um, as an output be required to have just uh, answers to research questions and and tools that you might end up using maybe it could be python or r just some of those tools that, um, or packages or libraries that we've mentioned pertaining to python that you might end up having knowledge about. If it's a data analyst job, maybe you might um, just work with just this um, um, spreadsheet software like Excel or even Google Sheets. 
or etc other spreadsheet softwares all right so the fifth type of project that you'd also now undertake to showcase to your um, employers might be data modeling projects um, you know um, you would want to also showcase your use of machine learning um, um, algorithms in the creation of models that predict um, some sort of um, future um, um, variable um, and, and this might involve you using something like Python I'm learning how to work with libraries like sklearn or tensorflow PyTorch um, and if it's R there's Carrot, um, there's KernLab, um, there's even Keras um, and, and ideally for a deep learning project the expected deliverable is usually just um, a developed model um, that you've developed a model you've been able to optimize it through maybe use of, of feature engineering techniques or hyperparameter techniques so basically that is what you need to to have um, um, in terms of essential projects in your um, the, um in your in your portfolio so the first ones are well, or well, you know the first category of projects that you would need to have a data collection the second um, category would be data preparation so having a data set um, as an output the third um, would be data visualization fourth data analysis fifth data modeling and and you know um, then you're good to sh good to go and you can be able to apply to any sort of um, general data science job that you might um, um, find but of course if you are much more inclined to um, say if you're, you're you're thinking of applying for a machine learning job you could always just even have multiple jobs pertaining multiple um, projects pertaining to data modeling um, and having a well um, showcased um, 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 notebook or, or deliverable that can be able to um, speak to hiring managers of the kind of work that you have done in the past because they would expect you to um, put the same or even uh, not even the same a lot more than what you will have showcased in your project so you could always just think about um, doing a bit more of, of projects that um, are much more aligned towards you the job that you're going to be applying for so general advice do each do for each category do three projects at least three projects and also you could always um, you know um, identify what the organizations that you're applying for are uh, are normally work on and then you could always you know tailor your resume by mentioning that you have done a lot pertaining to um, the kinds of projects that they do and and that would be it that would be it and it would mean that um, you've done the much that you can um, when it comes to just building a portfolio that um, contains just essential data science projects all right so that's the end of this particular video if you did love the tips that we shared in this video be sure to give this video a thumbs up so that other persons who might also find this video beneficial can be recommended by youtube and if you would want to be informed when we post such future videos be sure to subscribe and see you in the next video